Welcome in, everybody. It's the coach. This is Madden 20 on EA Sports. Coming up, we'll see Carson Wentz and the Philadelphia Eagles as they take on Dwayne Haskins and the Washington Redskins. With that, let's get on up to FedEx Field near Washington. Standing by for the call of this one, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Coach, it's a pretty frigid December day in our nation's capital. We got our space heaters on full blast up in the booth at FedEx Field. A few minutes ago, it sounded like the 4th of July on the National Mall as the hometown Redskins were introduced to this sold-out crowd. They are set to go as their guys will match up with Carson Wentz and the Philadelphia Eagles. Calling the action from up top, Brandon Gunn and Charles Davis with you. We got an NFC East matchup here, CD. The most difficult division year to year to really predict. In fact, no team has repeated as division champ since 2004, 15 years ago. And that was the Eagles, correct? Yeah. Going back to back. Well, let's be honest about it. The way that these teams match up, the way that they draft, all trying their best to win their division. Very similar styles. Eagles won the Super Bowl not that long ago. Washington with good health. They were winning the division last year late in the season. How about New York with the Giants trying to make their move? And of course, Dallas won the division a year ago. But this division is so interesting with Saquon Barkley in New York. Did you know that the caddy of Tiger Woods wore Saquon Barkley's jersey underneath his caddy outfit at the Masters in 2019 when Tiger won for the first time in a long time. Let's be honest about it. Saquon Barkley, he's pretty popular. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Carson Wentz in his fourth season now out of North Dakota State ready to bring out this Eagles offense. And he's had to sit and watch Nick Foles under center during Philly's last two playoff runs. So health will be a key for Wentz in 2019, no doubt. Here's Miles Sanders, the rookie second rounder from Penn State. Four yards the result on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. And here are the starters for Philadelphia. Two-time All-Pro center Jason Kelsey is one of the most athletic centers in the league. In fact, he went to the University of Cincinnati as a walk-on linebacker before converting to the offensive line. Can pull, trap, get out in front of runners in any situation. And one of the more intelligent centers in the league as well, handling all of their line calls. Second and six, just inside the 30. Wentz going to throw. And complete to Zach Ertz. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. I do believe we'll see a little bit more of this as this game progresses because when you can have that type of a gain in the middle of the defense, it hurts them in so many ways because most teams like to be strong down the middle. And if you can sting them there, that open things up for you on the outside as well. But that's where he, their big tight end, is so good, that middle third, the seam routes, the in routes. Yeah, you're right, probably see more of that. Yeah, it takes a lot of courage and fortitude to go in the middle as well, <laughs> and he's got it. Looks like he's gonna get a couple here on this first down carry, and that'll make it second and eight. Deron Payne, the big D tackle there to make the stop. And here's the Redskin defense. Landon Collins is built like your typical tackle first safety, but he does have the ability to play the deep part of the field. Two-time 1,000-yard rusher for the Bears. This is Jordan Howard. And he's got it across the midfield stripe and into Washington territory. Good work to pick up seven yards there. That gets him into a third-and-one situation. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes, the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. On third down, they'll run it with Sanders. And he's got the first down before being taken down at the 46. He needed a yard, that's what he got, and it's gonna earn him a new set of downs. 
Defense had a chance to get off the field here in the opening drive, couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches and sometimes maybe we can get, you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, mm -hmm. aren't they? Offense and defense. In this case, one capitalized and the other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. On first down, they run with Howard. And he's got this down to the 35. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. And that's a run that'll energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They run with Howard. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. On second down now, it's Howard. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Now we'll get a stoppage here as it appears we've got an eagle slow to get up. Well, he gets attended to, we'll step aside. on this drive so far. It's first and 10. Into the red zone, Wentz. And he finds his tight end, it's Ertz. And they've got it inside the 10 at the eight. 11 yards there, just like last play. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. From the gun, it's Wins. This is caught. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown from eight yards out. And the Eagles drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. Right off the bat, they start with a very solid, methodical 10-play drive. And you know me, I tend to look at things from the defensive side. They're coming off the field gassed right away. We're in the first drive of the game. So it's not just what happened, but think of the emotion you carry into a game, then double it with getting a 10-play drive put on you and points scored. They're pretty tired right now. Elliott Good with a PAT, and that makes the score 7-0. A 10-play drive that time. The result, Philadelphia in the end zone. After the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This one fielded at the five. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. 
The Redskins taking the field, led once again by a number seven. Of course, Joe Theismann's old number hadn't been used in 33 years, but Joe gave the okay to wear it to this man. Their first round pick, Dwayne Haskins. Haskins and the Redskins come up first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. On play action, Haskins. He'll get this to his speedster, Paul Richardson. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45. 17 yards that time at a Washington first. Defense gives up a touchdown on the opening drive. Offense, you got to want to get out there and get those points back right now. And that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start. The big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. Get in the right room. Get in the right room. This is Chris Thompson in his seventh season now as a Redskin. And across the midfield, stripe into Eagle territory. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Now a man in his 13th NFL season, it's Adrian Peterson. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Seven yards there and a first down. That run is what defenses don't like about dealing with Adrian Peterson. His ability to drop a shoulder and run through contact. And he's amazing at keeping those strong legs going, isn't he? For him, no run is ever truly over. I mean, he's actually not even convinced that when they blow the whistle, he's actually down. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Get him, boys. Yeah, that's how we do, D. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability, and a sack resulted. And the job becomes twice as difficult now. After the sack, it's second and 20. From midfield now, Haskins complete. Richardson has it. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Third down. Here's Haskins. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. Defense. So instead of fourth down, first down. Well, so much for winning the down, you put a lot of emphasis on because third down is key for offense and defense. Instead, you're going to stay on the field and start a new set of downs. That's going to be caught by Richardson. And here he'll get it down to the seven. It's a gain of six on the play, and it'll be a second down. Well, I know from past experience, before you actually play a game, you visualize what's going to happen. And I don't know anyone who doesn't visualize themselves being in the center of what's going on. That's three catches for him here in the early going. He's got to like the way this is started. Absolutely. Three catches on any. And he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. A seven-yard touchdown grab as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. Walking into the stadium, we saw a ton of people donning the jerseys of this rookie quarterback, so you know they love that opening drive, and he throws a touchdown pass. He gave a little bit of confirmation about what they had hoped, right? Because they thought they had a quarterback. They're thinking they have a quarterback. You do this, they believe they've got a quarterback. Look up elbowing each other up in the stands. That's our guy. Hopkins with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. 
So this drive spans seven plays. And the result, a touchdown for Washington. Team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Fielded about a yard deep. Solid return. Pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right? To be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They may have to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. And look at this. They come right back with a big shot downfield. Call that a very strong gain of 24. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end. A guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills, you want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. and 10. Here's Wentz. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. Now they, they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Wentz is going to lead his guys up first and 10. And he's a perfect five for five here to begin the game. To throw, it's Wentz. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath a little bit. Felt like it was in the air for a while. What it does is it allows a defender to gain some ground, come from a long distance, and have a chance to affect the pass. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Wins to throw again. Completes it to Aguilar. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. The Eagle passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. Again, they'll throw with Wentz. And they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. The DN Jonathan Allen making sure his presence is felt. Well, that was point-counterpoint, wasn't it? They decide to throw for it on first and goal. Instead, the defense counters with pressure, and the defense wins, getting a big sack. Second and goal, but now all the way back at the 14. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. Nelson Aguilar, the intended receiver. But now it's third and goal. They always say the real estate is about location. Well, guess what? When it's a slant route, the quick ones, timing, timing, timing. Got to be able to lead your man with the football. And the timing off right there, Hurry, threw it behind him. Wentz now on third and goal. 
Got him in. Open. It's Ertz. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Zach Ertz there to make the grab. And the Eagles have taken the lead. No surprise there, third and goal down here. That's where they're going to look for their tight end. Yeah, you want that big guy running his routes because it doesn't matter who they cover him with. If it's another big guy, he might use his bulk against him. If it's a shorter defender, might go over the top. Either way, you tend to find a little bit of a mismatch in that area. Elliott on for the extra point. It's up and good, and it's 14-7 now here in the first quarter. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it was capped off by an Eagles touchdown. After the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This is taken at the three. Then he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27 yard line. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown looked pretty good, so they'll be hoping to do that once more. And it takes me back to when we sat with the offensive coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense and they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do just that. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal... Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Back to the ground. This time it's Peterson. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 12 yards is the pickup, and it's good for a Washington first down. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. Haskins looking to throw on first down. He's got Thompson here, complete. It's a gain of five on the play, and that'll make it a second down. And here a look at the offensive starters for the Redskins. Yeah, I feel a little bad here because we missed out talking about these guys on the opening drive because they were in the end zone before we had a chance to even say anything. But let's keep an eye on these wideouts. QB already has one touchdown pass. You know he's looking for a few more before this one's over. Those wideouts will get plenty of opportunities to try and score again. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Haskins will throw. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Haskins and the offense with a first and 10, and he's a perfect six for six here to start the ball game. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Paul Richardson there, and that'll bring up second down. And the defense now for the Eagles. Playing in his 11th season in the NFL is defensive back Malcolm Jenkins, who entered with the New Orleans Saints as a cornerback before shifting back to safety where he's had his best years. Terrific football IQ, tremendous tackler, can also guard receivers in the slot. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. 
Second and ten now. Haskins. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 29-yard line. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, sharply run route. Again, zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. The positioning here is key. As a defensive back, you're taught 99% of the time make a play on the football, but in this case, making a play on the man was all the difference. That's what forced the incompletion. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Now it's Haskins. It's caught by Davis. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 12 yards is the pickup, and it's good for a Washington first down. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not going to catch the football. He's going to run away from me a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. Haskins now hitting on 80% of his passes in the early going. 8 of 10. It's first down. Now it's AP, Adrian Peterson. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Timmy Jernigan, the Florida State man, in on the stop. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Now a quick pass to Richardson. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. A minimal gain as we tick down inside of a minute remaining in the opening quarter. Peterson and they're gonna mark him down short maybe by about a yard if that he needed two he got one and that's gonna leave him with fourth down at a yard well they picked up a portion of it but not all that they needed now that leads to a decision on fourth and one let's see what they decide to do So now on fourth down, the Redskins will hand things over to their kicker, Dustin Hopkins. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. Hopkins' kick is good. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. That drive took him inside the 10. Good job defensively to hold him to three. Yeah, I like how you did that. Give a little tip of the cap to the stop troops there because they didn't give up a touchdown in that situation, right? Made them kick the field goal. And yeah, points went against them, but that feels a whole lot better running off the field. Following the made field goal for three, Hopkins now to kick it off. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. We are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Wentz off the fake handoff to Howard. Going to look deep for Jeffrey. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. It's Clinton Dunbar with a pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. That was a really nice interception. I think it illustrates the differences between playing man and playing zone. When you're in man, all you're focused on is the receiver in front of you. But when you're in zone, you're allowed to read the quarterback's eyes and go to the ball. That's exactly what happened on that play. Out 
comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point? The kicker. Exactly. You put it through the post. That's going to help him in contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him in contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. Toe bash. I don't know about that. Toe bashed it. Super toe. <laughs> First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. Coming this way, coming this way. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Shotgun handoff to Thompson. And he's able to get up here to the 26. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. Get that ball. Get that ball. Now Thompson. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. I'm getting the sense that Fletcher Cox is making offensive linemen want to take the week off when they have to play against him. <laughs> it's a regular routine for him, isn't it? It really is. That play there, that's him all day long. Good luck trying to block him and keep him from disrupting your offense. On second down, Peterson. He'll have a first down past the 40. And finally taken down at the 44-yard line. 31 yards there and a first down. This is a little bit like baseball here. Strong up the middle. Both sides want to be that. In this case, the offense ended up winning the ultimate battle. And those big runs between the tackles, that's a little deflating for a defense, isn't it? It really is because that's where your strength's supposed to be. You're supposed to be in a spot where they can't make that yardage there. You're supposed to send them outside. Not in this case. So the big play gets them across midfield now for first and ten. They'll run with Geis. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Jalen Mills in on the stop. You don't see that a ton, do you? With a cornerback coming over to the middle of the field to make a run tackle. That's someone with a ton of confidence to feel like nothing is pressuring him on his side of the field. Sees that the ball has moved to the middle and just sprints over there to help out. He ends up getting the tackle. Well played. Throwing on second down. Haskins completes it to Davis. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. Let's make these babies cry all the way back home, yo. From the gun, Haskins on third down. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Brandon Graham applying the heat off the edge. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Man, that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's a really difficult task. So on fourth down, the Redskins will call on Tressway to punt it away. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. Here's Carson Wentz now with the rest of his offensive unit heading onto the field. And he's looked pretty good. Does have the one interception, but two touchdown passes so far. Your analysis. They'll take the offset. When you talk about throwing two touchdown passes, no one wants to see an interception thrown. But those things happen in the course of a ball game and over the course of the season. But throwing two touchdown passes, that's why the team has an advantage. That's what they're looking for more of. He'll be hoping to make it a 3-1 to one ratio here in the second quarter. 
I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. Wentz now 8 of 11 in this first half. He's got it first and 10. Running with Howard. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. From the 45 on second down, Wentz. He was trying to find Deshaun Jackson that time. And that'll make it third down. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them. And not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily, fell incomplete. Wentz. And he can't come up with a pick. Nearly his second of the game. Instead, fourth down. The man's getting a little loose with the football there, right? Interception before. Almost had one here. He's got to start taking better care of it. Yeah, it really should have been back-to-back -back drives with interceptions. He's lucky there. Here's Jake Elliott, career long, by the way, for him, 61 yards. This will approach NFL record territory. It's a 62-yard attempt. And that one will be no good. He never had it online. It's well wide to the left, and this score will stay right where it is. So an empty possession there. What do you think went wrong, Charles? Well, it looked like maybe the plant leg might have given way just a little, and when that happens, guys have a tendency to pull through the ball to compensate. And in doing so, set this one off target. As this unit comes back out there, let's focus in on Darius Geis. You can count his carries on one finger. They've only given him the rock one time, Charles. What gives? So we can't draw any conclusions just yet. He has to touch the ball multiple times in order to get into a rhythm and have a chance to have success. You know who else gets into a rhythm? The offensive line. They feel better about what they're doing when they know they've had multiple opportunities to get it done. Yeah, well, the conclusion we can draw so far, they're losing here in the second quarter. Let's see if they change tunes. Four receivers to keep tabs on here. Three of them to the right side on second and five. We got four. Second down, Haskins. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. 12 yards is the pickup, and it's good for a Washington first down. And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this rookie so much. And that's why they lit up a little bit in our meetings with the coaching staff. Didn't yeah, they? when we talked about him, they did. Yeah, yeah, you know, they like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree and getting better at it all the time, really honing his game. They expect a pretty good jump out of him as things continue to move on. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Some runs are blocked so well. You almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front, really well done. On second down, it's Peterson. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Nice job there finding room to maneuver, and he worked his way into another first down. And look, they had great field position to start, but boy, they've done a nice job taking advantage of it. Now they're just hoping to cap it off. First down, here's the run with Peterson. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. Well, as we've learned over the years, just because a guy plays left tackle 
doesn't mean he doesn't have run blocking abilities and we just saw it there controlled the line of scrimmage created a big gain that's kind of a bonus he's there to protect that high value that you have back under center but he creates space in the run game yeah not only can he dance he can mash too Geis, they'll try to run it. And that'll move him a little closer as he takes it from the seven down to the four-yard line. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a game considering the blitz that they just had against them. Second and goal from inside the five. Now they'll look to Haskins to throw it. And this is taken in for a Redskins touchdown. Trey Quinn there to make the grab. And the Redskins are going to retake the lead. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. Had some heat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass, and sometimes you throw, what, a touchdown strike? There you go. That's my man in concert. Now it's Hopkins to add the extra point. It's good, and they'll take a 17-14 lead. So that drives seven plays in length, and it was polished off by a Redskin touchdown. Touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. This one taken from the seven. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. And along with the rest of his offensive mates, here comes Zach Ertz. And we peek at some of his work from this game where he's nearing 100 yards. And haven't we gotten pretty close in this game nowadays in the NFL to almost taking labels off of the tight end position? These guys now can be the number one option in an offense, and that never used to be the case. So now how do you even match up with them? Cornerback, safety, linebacker, all three will have deficiencies against the best tight ends in the game. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. This is Howard on second down. And an alley to run. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Ten yards there and an eagle first down. When he runs, he seems to do a nice job of knowing when to be patient and find the hole. And then when the hole is there, he goes quickly. You're exactly right. He knows how to just take off. But you know what else? Brings a little thump with him, doesn't he? He does. He packs the boom at the end of the run and finishes it going forward. That's what you want to see out of your backs. A good run by Jordan Howard, and now another first and ten. They'll run it now out of the gun. The tackle by Cole Holcomb. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. What that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. On play action, it's Wentz going up top. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Fans do love the long ball, don't they? And he already found his guy once. Tried to give him another chance there, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Couldn't connect, but as you alluded to, he does have that touchdown from earlier, trying to keep him in the rhythm. The Eagles on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and eight. From the gun, it's Wins. Yeah. 
And he connects with Ertz. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Redskins 33. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he's got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 down at the 33. On first and 10, it's Sanders. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest game, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Throwing his wins. He'll hit Jackson complete. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. 23 yards, the final tally. Okay, what can't Deshaun Jackson do? All right, we know about the catches. We just saw another one there. Also gets involved in the return game. And he can break big plays like that. And we've seen him do it throughout his NFL career. We have. What are you, are you thinking of anything in particular? Yeah, I'm, I'm still remembering a certain Giants punter <laughs> not following orders. And Deshaun Jackson made that big time return all the way back for a game winner in that one. I still remember seeing the looks of disbelief on the Giants sideline. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss it? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah, what during, happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. Second down and goal. Wentz. This is taken in by Jeffrey. He's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. Three touchdown passes now for Carson Wentz. And the Eagles have retaken the lead. And that drive we just saw that culminated in a touchdown, exactly what many offenses are looking for. Sustained ones that can impose their will on the other team. Elliott now to add the extra point. It's up and good to make it 21-17. That time, a nine-play drive. The result, Philadelphia in the end zone. the touchdown. Here's Elliott on to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And our focus now moves to Adrian Peterson. Now he's having himself a little bit of a banner game. His team right now, though, losing. Needs a little bit of help. And I kind of equate it to a basketball game where you have the big score. And sometimes your strategy is Okay, he can go ahead and have all of his points. Let's hold down everyone else, and that's the way you win the game. And right now, he needs everyone else to start scoring, quote-unquote, as he's been. Yeah, and he's hoping to keep it close so maybe they can keep it on the ground, not start to go through the air as much. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Brandon Graham picks up his second sack of the afternoon. 
I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. Third down, here's Haskins. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get to third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. Here's Tressway now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. This is taken at about the 14. And that's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Jordan Howard and the rest of the offense heading back out there. A good job in the passing game. Decent job in the running game, but really they've been more effective uh, through the air. We'll see if that shifts at all as this goes on. Thus far, it feels like they're calling this game in reverse. Normally you run to set up the pass. Here it feels like they're passing, hoping to set up the run and be more effective later on in the game. Yeah, you can do it both ways. We usually talk about it in the reverse, however. No doubt about it. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Second and five now. Wentz. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Jonathan Allen in there to take him down on what will take us to the two-minute warning. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Coming up here at halftime, we'll ship you off to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman will have first half highlights and analysis from a back and forth first half that we've seen. The Redskins now going to use the first of their three timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Fourth down, out is the punter, Cameron Johnston, to boot it away. Fielded just inside the 20. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it'll be Redskins football now with a first and 10. Out there, ready for this next drive, the Redskins offense. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. To Thompson on the draw. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Gun, it's Haskins. Now he will find Davis. That's complete. 
17 yards that time at a Washington first. It's so important to tackle well against these guys, but you and I both know that's easier said than done when the guy you're trying to tackle looks like this guy. And it's usually going to take more than one man to get him down, and it did right there. Haskins now 13 out of 17 throwing the ball. He's got a first down. On first down, it's Haskins looking middle, and it's incomplete. He was looking for Paul Richardson there, and now it's second down. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback, but when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Here's Haskins. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Brandon Graham giving him once again his third sack of the afternoon. He was trying to keep his eyes downfield. Nobody came open. He's trying to do everything that he had been taught, right? Every bit of the technique. But if no one's open, there is no technique, except make sure you hold on to the ball as you go to the ground when you're getting sacked. down here's Geis and he's going to be stopped here at the 43 and that is not near enough to pick up the first now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime here's Tressway now as he's on to punt for Washington He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And this one hits at the three and then bounds Let's into go. the end zone for a touchback. Carson Wentz and the Eagles getting sent to take over. He does have the one interception, Charles, but I think that's been more than offset by the three first-half touchdown passes. I would agree with you. There is a blemish, but when you've thrown three touchdown passes to try and erase it, that's a little bit better than the ratio that all NFL coaches are seeking from their quarterbacks, and he's giving it to them. They'll take the three to one? Every single time. Yeah, they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Shotgun now for Wentz. Completes it to Aguilar. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. A big pickup there for the Eagles' first down, 18 yards. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. On the right hash, officially this will be a 51-yard attempt. And the kick by Elliott is good. And that'll make this a seven-point game. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. Jake Elliott 
After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. This is taken at his four. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. Likely time for just one final play, and then it'll be off to the locker room to talk about how they can erase this deficit. Yeah, and I think a lot of people look at it and go, well, maybe you take a shot here. Maybe you get some momentum going into the half. What's the flip side of that? You do something crazy, quarterback gets hit, ball comes free, and now you're down an even bigger margin. Go ahead and take this one. Go to the locker room, start over. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. Back and forth, we went in that first half. This has certainly been an entertaining one to watch thus far. So let's get right back out to it as we'll rejoin our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. Both these offenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors but overall I think they wanted to be positive with them guys we're right there just not playing as well as we need to let's pick it up and we still have a chance to win this game yeah they do we'll see if they can pick it up call it no gain on the play and it'll be second down what an advantage having a lead guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free but he can also make plays himself as we just saw there well, they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. They run again with Peterson. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. After another impressive run, the question has to be asked, how do you slow these guys down running the football? I think they're going to try and get more people to the point of attack, try and get more people to the line of scrimmage, almost use a variety of run blitzes in order to try and get it done. Third down, it's Adrian Peterson. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Got what he needed for the first down with a gain of two. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot of it's been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. On first and 10, it's Haskins. Complete, Richardson has it. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. To throw again on second down, Haskins. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Back to the ground, Peterson. 
Uh-oh, he is going nowhere as he is enveloped behind the line. They end up getting stuffed twice after that nine-yard gain back on first down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Here's Tressway now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. They have the lead here. What well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches, what are halftime speeches like? For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen, let's take control right away. Yeah, Defense, we got, the yeah. we, got the we, got the we got the lead. Defense, don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense and let them go down and score and give us more of a cushion in the game. Check so far. Defense shut them down. Let's see if the offense gets done. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. Now wins. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Alshon Jeffrey, the intended receiver, and it's third and short. All right, that one fell incomplete there, but the best quarterbacks, they'll miss on 40% of their throws somewhere in that neighborhood, similar to a great hitter in baseball who's going to fail seven out of ten times and still have a great year. In this case, you want perfection, but way better that it hits the ground instead of going to an opposite color jersey. To throw his wins. It's caught by Aguilar. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. 63 yards receiving for him now. And that last catch, good enough for a first down. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short. Blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. So they'll come up first in 10 now from the 33. Now a play fake. Wentz. This complete left side to Aguilar. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. A big pickup there for the Eagles first down, 18 yards. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Here we go, here we go. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. On the toss play, Howard. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Well, that's just running the ball 101 because too much east-west, not enough north-south. Got to get upfield, don't you? They just kept stringing him out, stringing him out. Before he knew it, he had hit the sideline. on the run and that cuts us down to a third and about five on a second and long it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation i think that goes back to their practice and game planning they've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long distance situation they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down it fights him off 
But he can't get away forever, and down he goes. It's Ryan Kerrigan getting the sack. Got to give him points for the attempt, but there's just a wave of pressure there. A host of people in the area. Evades a few, but couldn't evade all of them. Here's Cameron Johnston now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And this will be out of bounds. Now it's a question of where they'll mark it. And they'll say it crosses at the 11-yard line. Adrian Peterson now getting ready to go again on offense. He is knocking on the door for 100 yards in this ball game. And it's so important. It doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal. Just short of it, a little bit over. A little bit over feels better to everyone. Offensive line, running back, team totals. Just something magical about breaking that barrier. Now he's right there on the doorstep now. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Haskins and the Redskins come up first and 10 at their own 11. On the ground, it's Thompson. And strong running there gets this up over the 15-yard line. That's a gain of six on the first down run. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. They go with Thompson again. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. And he got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game? That's going to be caught by Richardson. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. Well, they opted not to run it. They completed the pass on third and two, but they lost yardage to bring up four. Well, give credit to the guys on the other side of the ball. They snuffed out the play, but it does bring into question, one, the play call, because they didn't run the ball there. They could have run it, and two, just not getting it. That's got to be deflating for them. Here's Tressway now, standing right on his own five-yard line. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Well, that'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Carson Wentz, along with his offense, heading back out there for their next possession. How do you think he personally is evaluating his game so far? He was pretty good in the first half, been good so far here in the third quarter. He's got to like it, right? Not looking for the dramatics here. Not trying to set the world on fire in terms of stats. It's almost like you're driving. Hands at 10 and 2, alert for anything out there, watching for trouble on the road, and making sure you get the team home. The bus driver. See if he can drive the bus here again on this drive. Second and five after the five yard completion on first down. Now Wentz. Caught by the tight end Ertz. And to the 42 yard line here and brought down there. That one a first down pickup of eight. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. That's Aguilar with it on the jet sweep. And that one covered beautifully. Their defenders stayed home, and they'll stop him behind the line. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because, let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. Let's get that ball, let's get that ball right here. 
On second and 11 now. Wentz is brought in by Jeffrey. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Philadelphia. Now Sean Jeffrey so dangerous even when a defender's near him. He's got such a big body, ability to run, positions himself well, excellent control. And you're exactly right. Even if people are draped on him, he often comes up with the catch. He really symbolizes what people are looking for in receivers in today's NFL. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll bring up a second and 11. Every year I go to the combine and marvel at the speeds that linebackers are running nowadays. They run like DBs, and let's face it, they know how to finish plays too. Eyes up, head up, run right through them. Wentz on the draw, leaves it for Sanders. He takes it down to the 42, a five-yard run. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. And now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. Let's go, you tighten up. Working from the gun, Wentz. This is caught by Jackson. Yeah, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 14 yards there and an eagle first down. This quarterback now over 300 yards down for the game and time to improve on that as he's got a first and 10. Now Howard. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense gets a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Wentz going to throw. And that going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. Once you get into the red zone and the safeties have less ground to cover, you'd better be quick with your delivery. Not much space to get a ball in there. Yeah, when that field shrinks with those safeties, it's almost like there's a couple extra defenders out there, right? It certainly is. They end up taking up extra space just because there's not enough space for receivers to run through. They'll try to run for it with Howard. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. That's a tremendous group effort there because when you talk about offensive lines, the best ones talk about guys that play in harmony, in sync, and getting things done, and they did that on that play. Yeah, especially on third and one. Got to be in sync, and they were. First, they go right back to Howard. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Officially, no gain on the play, and it's second down. I would think as a play caller, you want to look for some quick hitters to your tight end. Any type of a route to replace where that linebacker was, because when you saw the speed with which he reacted and stuffed that play, maybe use that speed against him in the future. Looking to throw on second down. Wentz. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. And now offensively, it's third and ten, and I'm just thinking to myself, actors always say, what's my motivation before a big scene? Right now, the play caller's thinking, what have I done before that's worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first half scoring points. Haven't done anything so far here in the second half. Now Wentz on third down. It's caught by Jackson. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the this. three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. 
Nice catch right there. Brings to mind the sentence, when in doubt, find your veterans. He used to laugh back in the day when they would call guys like him crafty veterans. You, know, you get up in your 30s, you're still playing receiver, but you're around that long at that position, you're doing something right. Just remember this. When he was young, he thought the crafty veteran was simply a guy who couldn't run anymore. Now he understands a little bit better. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. Wentz. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. So reverse the celebration. We'll see if they have something else in their bag of tricks. And isn't that always tough to watch when they score and you see the excitement, and then when they realize those points aren't going to count? And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Carson Wentz with touchdown pass number four on the afternoon. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. Still plenty of time left in the game, but now starting to pull away a little bit. Get some breathing room with that one. And I don't want people to think that NFL locker rooms are cookie cutter, that everyone's saying the exact same thing in every situation. But I do know that all 32 teams have an emphasis on starting fast. Game, being on second half, no matter what. Well, this first five minutes, first three, whatever. This was a big score to start the second half. They had to go to the monitor, get an extra look. That's what the technology is for. And this touchdown will count. Elliott good on the extra point. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. That one was an extended drive. 14 plays all told. And it was capped off by an Eagles. To the touchdown. Here's Elliott on to kick it away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And our focus now moves to Adrian Peterson. And there are the numbers. Got off to that torrid hot start. We thought he was in for maybe a career day. Not the case. No doubt about it. It almost looks like a misprint after what we saw in the first half. But let's give a little bit of credit to the guys on our side of the ball. They went in at halftime, made a few adjustments. And you know what else? They didn't lose their confidence in how their ability to play. Because a lot of times you get beat down in the first half, it gets ugly in the second half. They've come out with a new resolve and a renewed determination. Well, they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Now a quick pass to Richardson. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. Now that was well defended, and as a cornerback, what you're taught when you see a wide receiver screen, either you get underneath the play before the blocking forms, or you're going to have to fight your way through it by getting through some blocking. That was a really nice play there. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun, Haskins on third down. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And all the way down to the 24-yard line. Big yardage that time for the Redskins. 53 yards. We know he's good at catching the football, but then after the catch, he's got escapability. Not only that, he's got some toughness as well because you know he's coached very hard to make sure he battles through, breaks tackles, and then they finish with, but don't fumble the football. Hey! 
So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. Throwing now, Haskins on first down. That's complete to his receiver, McLaurin. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. That throw good for four. It's second down. And boy, they had high praise for this rookie receiver when we asked the coaches about him, didn't they? They certainly did, and obviously they liked his measurables, otherwise they wouldn't have brought him on to the team. Height, weight, speed, all of that. But how about what they really said? Competitiveness. That's what they really liked about him. The way he goes after the football, competes for it, and decides when it's in the air, it's his and only his. As they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The offense on third down tonight, they've converted a third of their opportunities, three for nine. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. They run it here with Thompson. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. Officially a gain of just a yard there, but they do convert on third and inches. Brandon, this can be so demoralizing for a defense. They've had two opportunities to get off the field. They haven't gotten it done, so now your coordinator, he's going to call every blitz that he has, any type of exotic, something that they haven't seen before, and he's also telling the defensive lineman, don't worry about holding people up. Just get in gaps and try and make a big play. And not only not getting off the field on two opportunities, clock continuing to run. I'm going back to you. Now Haskins on first down. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. And he's brought down. The Washington passing game dialed in now. It's a first down. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. And he'll actually lose a little bit of yardage here. Back to the two. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Well, that's the big drawback to this play. Even if somehow the quarterback pitches it, he's not immune to the big hit. In this case, he kept it and absorbed it anyway. Back at the two now, here's second and goal. They'll run for it with Peterson. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. They'll wind up losing four yards on the play. And that is going to set up third and goal. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. They've been stuffed twice here for losses. Now it's third and goal. On third and goal, Haskins to the goal line, but it's incomplete. So now fourth and goal, you're trailing by a decent amount here. What are you doing, Coach Davis? Well, I've got to think to myself, just how many more opportunities am I going to have this close and have this chance? I've got to go for it right here. The clock's dwindling on me. Let's go get it done. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And Hopkins' kick is good. And that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11 play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone and get you six? The 
following the made field goal for three. Hopkins now to kick it off. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. It's a second down run with Sanders. And he'll get this from the 25 to the 30 for a pickup of five. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. The Eagles on third down. They've been really good converting seven of their ten tries. This will be third and five. Wentz off the fake handoff to Howard. And Jeffrey's got it. It's a gain of 26 as they pick up the first down of the process. Well, probably the only thing he did wrong there was go out of bounds, nursing this fourth quarter lead. You want to stay in, eat the clock. Yeah, you got to love the effort, the catch, the extra yardage, but you got to know the situation. Stay in bounds, young man. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. They run with Howard. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Offensively with the lead, you want to run the ball, keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Uh, think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this, where they describe the scenario, tell you what they're looking for, and make sure that they're still attacking, yet at the same time not going so fast as to leave too much time on the clock. And he's going to be stopped close to the first down marker at about the Redskins' 35. That's a really good job right there. Just kept stringing that play out, pushing further and further towards the sideline. Really good fundamentals by that defense. He was trying to put his foot in the ground and turn up field. He just couldn't. No, they really had a picket fence in front of him. No room to find to get upfield. On third down, they'll run it with Sanders. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what was said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscled all over the field and getting pushed down it. Wentz now on first down. He finds Aguilar over the middle. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Another Let's nice go. gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Shotgun now for Wentz. And now he'll tuck it and run. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. Second and goal from the one. Wait, 
Sanders. They'll try to run with Sanders. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to bring up an interesting third and goal. That almost felt like the defense said he is not getting in. What a play. Not only stopping him at the line, but pushing him back a yard as well. They've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? Here's Wentz to throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? So on comes the Eagle kicker, Jake Elliott, on fourth down. This is less than an extra point, just a 19-yard attempt. The kick by Elliott is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off, but they still ate up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. to the field goal. Here's Elliott to kick it away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. The Redskins offense now, they get set to take over here. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Give the Redskins 13 there and a first down. At this stage, this drive's got to be touchdown or bust because you need two of them. And if I'm the offensive play caller, I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield. I'm looking at some of my specials, something that can fool them and give you a big play now. With a sense of urgency. No doubt. Here's Haskins. It's caught by Davis. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Fourth quarter, every drive's so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. Throwing again on second down. Haskins, middle of the field. He's got McLaurin, and he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 40. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple of scores, and they've really got to get some yards in chunks, and they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? On first and 10, it's Haskins. Complete, Richardson has it. And he's taken down inside of the 30. It's a first down for the Redskins on a pickup of 11. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. Haskins and the offense with a first and 10. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. And that's going to be intercepted. Malcolm Jenkins, the pro bowler. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. He was looking for Paul Richardson there. The rookie was trying to push it downfield, but the safety bit him. And he'll learn that you have to hold the safety. And you do that with your head movement, your eyes, sometimes your shoulders. Hold the safety so that you can get back to the throw that you really want to make. 
He got so excited thinking his guy was open that he made it easy for the defensive back to go get the football. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. Turnover that just got him the football back, obviously a big one, because had they been able to score on the other side, this would have been a one-possession game. So you don't sense full relief here, then? No, I don't, especially with the ball this deep in their own territory, because you make a mistake, they've got it right back in prime position. They certainly do, so now... Almost like, you know, almost like a four-minute offense, right? Take care of this bad boy. Make sure the other team doesn't touch it, but move it with consistent gains. Wear down the clock and make them use their timeouts in this situation. Where well, Brandon Pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage. They've got the football, but they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back in New Paltz, Mrs. Bythema Bagley, used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go largo. And what she meant by that is don't go too fast when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. I am speechless. I am without speech. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. He released that awkwardly. It almost looked like a pitcher who gripped his fastball a little too hard and let it go late, and it bounced in front of the plate. Yeah, one of those fastballs that ends up at 57 feet, not 60 feet, 6 inches. Just a little short with the arm, which is unusual because we saw him in warm-ups. He's got a big, strong arm when he delivers it with confidence. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. And once more, he was looking for Alshon Jeffrey, and it's third down. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. From the gun, it's Wins. And he connects with Ertz. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A very solid gain of 27. That's an excellent read right there. Saw cover one. That means it's just a single high safety. So you know if you throw the ball to the outside part of the field, help is going to be a little bit late getting there. And he puts one out there for a big-time completion. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. A give to Howard. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. I have zero rooting interest in either team in this game. I only want a good game. But with all the offense we've seen from them tonight, it's kind of nice to see the defense step up and make a big play. Yeah, I was wondering if they were ever going to get him in the backfield. Nice to see him get a stop. It's Wentz. He'll hit Jackson complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. Boy, another big play late here for an offense, Charles. It certainly has had its fair share of big plays. Coverage has been a problem all game long. And I would say that going along with that has been confidence. Because even if they had the right coverage, they've still dented them. And now it's been a real issue for him during this game. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Wentz on the give to Sanders. They stopped after only a yard, taking it down to the 14. Tough day, tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. Under four to go now as the clock runs, and they come up on second down. Working from the gun, Wentz. Pass incomplete. Maybe a little over-anxious in the pocket there. He just didn't look comfortable on that throw. No, he didn't because it wasn't his normal fluid delivery. 
And I think you might have had it right. Wasn't really confident with what he saw downfield and almost felt like he wanted to pull that one back. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. Wentz now to throw. He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. That's Deron Payne with a sack that time. Brandon, more often than not, you'd say they've had his number, and we can count them up so far. One, two, three, four sacks given up. But guess what? He's still been able to make some plays, and right now they have a lead. Now to try the Eagle field goal, Jake Elliott. This to make it a three-score game late. And Elliott puts this one through. And that will extend their lead even further. So with that, you figure yeah, this game's pretty much out of reach at this point. Yeah, it's going to take a heck of a comeback to come from three scores down. But don't change that channel. Don't go away. Miracles can happen, and you want to be here in case it does. You're a company man. Aren't I, though? To the field goal. Here's Elliott to kick it away. This is taken at his four. Then he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27 yard line. Out comes this field general once more, leading his offense back onto the field. And that interception that ended their previous drive likely also ended any shot they had at victory. Yeah, long road back from here, no doubt about that one. But let's face it, if you're going to go out there and compete, you want to try and end on a strong note, don't you? Absolutely. It won't end in a victory, like you said, but they can maybe take something positive out of this one. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it indeed. Here come the flags. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face match. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they're marching off another 15 against your squad. So the face mask puts them in even better shape than they were in as they'll have a short field here on first and 10. They go over the middle, and it's complete to start the drive. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Looking to throw, Haskins. This one complete to Calvin Harmon. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 20-yard line. To back good plays have them on the move on first down shotgun handoff to Thompson and they've got it inside the 10 at the 8 so it's Redskin football here as we welcome you back They've got it first and goal as they look to punch in a late score. Here's Haskins to throw. And they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. Give the sack to Fletcher Cox. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, they took a sack on first and goal. 
but that close to the goal line, that still definitely hurts. Now they got to get to the line quickly. After the sack on first down, Haskins, that's going to be caught by Richardson. They'll wind up getting seven on the completion, but they'll still be faced now with a third and goal situation. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible, hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage, and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. Here's Peterson on third and goal. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Only able to pick up a yard, and that's going to leave him with a long fourth and goal. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. And a field goal obviously means nothing here. They're going to go ahead and go for it on fourth down. They'll try and throw for it with Haskins. And it is incomplete. They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt. And the Eagles defense able to hold. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. The Eagles coming out as they get ready. And three timeouts remaining here defensively, but really not much reason to use them at this point as this one is all but over. If they use the timeouts here, it's strictly for show. We got a plane to catch. They'll begin the drive with Howard. He's going to have the first down past the 20. And finally taken down to the 25-yard line. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. Yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. Here we go. So fly, Eagles, fly. It's a victory for Philadelphia. And it was their defense that led the way, allowing just three points, that lone field goal in the entire second half. And remember the old adage, offense sells tickets. Defense does what? Wins championships. And in this game, maybe a championship wasn't won, but a game was by the defense, right? Held them to just a field goal? That's a heck of a job. I mean, when they went out there with that determination and a pretty good game plan, pretty good idea of what they wanted to accomplish, just love the execution, love the tenacity, love the way they finished. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we sign off from Landover.